Hey guys, I've gotten a lot of questions about my uh, sit drag and all the customizations that I've made. So I wanted to do a quick video and kind of show you all the changes and adjustments that I made to the sit drag. So first of all, this is the standard sit drag. Um, it comes actually with a bridge uh, that's attached here at the two loops and uh, also an attachment point that goes around the tree. Um, if you're using it as a tree saddle like a lot of us over at saddlehunter.com are doing, uh, you're going to want to cut that off and make your own bridge. Uh, and I'll show you some of the other um, kind of upgrades that I've done to the saddle. So first of all, the sit drag, it's rated it uh, according to this uh, label here. It's The weight limit is 300 pounds. Um, this thing is really well made. Uh, it's... I'd have no problems hanging from this in a tree. Uh, it's, it's very solid. Again, it's not what it's intended for. It's intended to be used on the ground. And I'll link to the original sit drag video down in the comments so you can uh, see how, the, how they manufactured it originally. Um, but that's the basic sit, dra sit drag. That's how it comes uh, if you buy one. Um, and I'll show you some of the updates that I've made. So here's mine. And... Um, start off with uh, one of the most important things I think is the belt so I basically just sewed in some webbing with a little plastic buckle um, that's so it can hold the sit drag up while you're climbing the tree uh, or walking to your uh, stand site um, uh, you know hundred different ways to use it once you get up in this in the tree you can loosen it up or take it off doesn't really matter this is not load bearing um, it's strictly for keeping the saddle in a position around your waist. It will do nothing to save your life in the event of a fall or anything like that. But all the weight is in the actual sit drag anyway. It's in your, in your butt or in your back. Um, that's where all the, the, the power and the strength come from. So this is just a convenience thing. Um, second thing that I did to the sit drag was to add these webbing loops. Uh, this is really helpful if you're going to attach gear, uh, any sort of little bags, um, accessories, anything you want to hang off your sit drag. Uh, this is real simple, just a length of webbing sewed on, and I did that to both sides. Um, nothing fancy, just little molly loops, but it makes a big difference in, in the use. Uh, the next thing that I did is I sewed up these corners, or the, the loops, and this makes a big difference. Um, when you're attaching and detaching your carabiner. Uh, so I just used a sewing awl. I uh, basically just took the strap and folded it in thirds, like so. One fold, two folds. I basically just did that and then stitched it all the way down. Again, this does nothing for the strength uh, of the sit drag. It's, it's all held with the um, the same loops. It's it's purely cosmetic and for uh, clipping a carabiner in and out of. But with this, you can truly do it one-handed. Uh, it just comes on and off very easily. Um, you can do it in the dark. You can do it with one hand, uh, which you can't really do with these loops. It's it's just a lot better to sew them up like that. Um, so that's a really helpful upgrade you can do to your Citroen. And then the last thing that I did is I added these loops in here, uh, and this is designed to use a CCF a closed cell foam pad. You can get the pads at Walmart for really cheap, and uh, basically this is for winter um, or for comfort, I guess, if you need it. I don't think you really need it, but uh, for winter when it's cold, when you compress your layers down in your outerwear, that can... Um, give you cold spots in your butt, but if you add this CCF pad, um, it'll keep you a lot warmer. Uh, so that's something that that I like. Uh, pretty cool deal, just like that. And then uh, the last thing I guess uh, after that that I did is I added a little loop just to packing it up. You can roll this bad boy up nice and tight when you're done hunting. Then you got this loop here. Throws around it like so. That guy's all packed up. Throw that in your pack, strap it to the outside. 
Uh, we'll weigh it here in just a second. But all in all, a few little simple to do customizations make this thing a whole lot better to use. Uh, this was the first time I had ever sewed anything and uh, my sewing is pretty awful. Um, but it works. Again, nothing that I did is load bearing or life support system. It's all just for functionality uh, and, and uh, comfort or you know just ease of use. So Citrag is something really cool uh, for you saddle hunters out there. So we'll go ahead and weigh the Citrag. I'll put this to uh, ounces. I'm showing 11.1 ounces and that is uh, with this the CCF pad in there so this thing is less than a pound ready to go it's really tough to beat there's no other system out there that is that lightweight the last thing I wanted to show you guys is the uh, is the bridge that I made this is a fixed bridge uh, it's about uh, 28 inches uh, so a little over two feet and uh, I made this out of quarter inch am steel blue which has a breaking strength of about 8600 pounds um, the way I made this uh, is on one end is a locked Brummel which basically is a way of splicing the rope back onto itself and then you bury about a seven or eight inch tail which is right here all the way through the end of the rope the other end is called a lock stitched uh, fixed eye and that's made by you come around bury um, about eight inches into itself and then you do a lock stitch uh, which is really simple to do and I'll link to that in the uh, comments below um, but this is where you actually tie your tether into the tree and uh, it's super lightweight um, I don't even know if this weighs more than an ounce probably doesn't um, but again it's uh, am steel blue it's super lightweight uh, it's a quarter inch and it uh, has a breaking strength of right at 8,600 pounds. So again, thanks for watching uh, the video about the sit drag. If you have any uh, questions or comments, you can leave them here or jump over to saddlehunter.com. I'll link to that in the comments where you can find all kinds of discussion uh, about the sit drag as well as uh, the other saddles uh, for saddle hunting that are out there on the market. Thanks for watching, guys.